Hi everyone. Today I wanted to discuss a small idea from this week's parasha, Parashat Dazino. So in this parasha, Moshe is describing the relationship that Bnei Israel have with Hashem um, in the future when they start to conquer Eretz Israel. So one of the Pesukim say, Halohu avicha kinecha vehu asecha vikonenecha. So that means, is he not your father, your master? He has made you and firmed you. So in this pasuk, Moshe is declaring that Hashem is our father and our king, and he's the source of our existence and all blessing. Coming out of Rosh Hashanah and being that we're in the Aseret Yemei Teshubah right now, um, this pasuk couldn't be any more applicable to us. One of the main themes of Rosh Hashanah and Aseret Yemei Teshubah is that we're declaring Hashem is our king, and in Amidah we say HaMelech HaMishpat, um, HaMelech HaKadosh, and um, we're adding Avinu Malkenu after Amidah, so just like Moshe in this parasha, we're also declaring that Hashem is our father and our king. So now we're asking, why are we doing all this? What's the meaning behind declaring Hashem as our king and as our father? So as we enter the new year, we are renewing our relationship with Hashem. And the way to properly do this is to truly understand that Hashem is our king. If we follow his Torah and his mitzvot, then we're going to be on a path to success. Furthermore, because he's the king, um, he has the power to grant us anything that we want in life. So either that's health, wealth, success, um, and Hashem has that power to give that to us because he is the king. And furthermore, if you go into the year with that mindset that not only is Hashem our king, but also Avinu, there's a reason why Avinu Malkenu, the word Avinu, our father comes first, because Hashem also loves us like a father and he wants us to come to us, you know, as our father, to come to him and ask him for anything. So first, foremost, Hashem is our father, Avinu, but secondary, he's Malkenu. He's also our king because he has the, the ability to give us anything. Um, Hashem can always provide for us and Hashem loves us and Hashem's waiting for us to come closer to him, especially within these 10 days. I wanted to wish everyone a Shana Tova and I hope you all have a successful new year filled with blessing and only Semachot. Thank you.